Okay. And I gotta do some things. Make it F2. Make it good. So it's 4K. It's an HLG. I can't believe it. So I have two ZFs, one in HLG, the other one in SDR to show a comparison. But uh, I'm using the 40 millimeter F2 right now, and it's in HLG, okay? Just to show you the difference. I put the other two in SDR, the S or Z63 and the R6 Mark II, and the Leica. Uh, I got that in natural, I think. But not in any pro res or anything, just just the basic. Jets flying all over the place over here. So this is the ZF, okay? So this is the last camera I'm doing. And I'm showing uh, the different plants and trees in here. Some are dead, some are alive. A lot of lightning strikes, so branches have gone down, but the tree's still standing and it still have leaves. So I just wanted to show you this. It's kind of like what it looks like in San Antonio. Of course, this is north of San Antonio, but I want to show you a little bit of the flowers that can grow in here. So the creek is basically dry, but when it rains real hard, the water level can go all the way up to the road sometimes. So you can see it's still kind of muddy after two days. I think we did get a little rain shower last night, but uh, it's nice. We need the rain. Keeps the temperatures cool. Mosquitoes, uh, they're gonna come out in the forest. Yep. So they're doing circular patterns. They move from the propellers to jets now. So they're getting all the practice in as they can. But look at that tree right there. Isn't that something? So it's bare except for the top. How can I just show you this? So I'll take some pictures in black and white so you can see it in color in the video with some photos. And that's what I'm doing. Just testing out different 24 megapixel cameras and see how they compare with lenses that all at F2. I think one was at 1.8, which was the 35 millimeter. But, uh, You can see, this is a pretty good camera. And it's recording HLG, all right? I do have the small rig uh, grip on here. It's real nice. Not as deep as the uh, Z63 or even the Z8. The Z8 is bigger than the Z63. But, they had the XP7 uh, sensors or processors. I hope that's not a snake. It starts, if it moves, I'm out of here, okay? So this is, uh, I'll end up right here with the drainage and I'll start taking pictures in black and white. All right, here we are again. Now, it's different how different cameras do different things with HLG. Look how bright it is. So this is with the ZF. I think on my uh, Z63 when the, no, the battery died, I think on the ZF, yeah. Or was it the Z63? I can't remember. I've done so many videos. But anyway, look how bright everything is. Let me get it back over here. Okay. So it is kind of too bright. It was where on the uh, Z63 it was dark. So 
it's still a new camera. I may have to look into the settings again, but you see, this is too bright. So, let me look at it. And I don't know if I had it on auto ISO on the um, Z63. Anyway, so you see, I, I was trying to take a picture of a plane or the jet. And you can barely see it. It's just bright, overexposed. And the thing is, I don't think I had the same settings as to the camera part. So the video is separate. And that, that's what I'm, you know, I can understand they want different settings and stuff. But uh, anyway, still, I think I got it right here. And I love this tree. You know, I was just fascinated at how it curved. And I'm just bringing it in, all right? A little pixelated right there. But look at this. If you go up and go the other way, come on, up, up, up. Look at that. All right, so there's the fork, okay? So there's branches, there's leaves on these branches. Look at it at the end. Now you will see some purple fringing, okay, with this lens. And that's because I'm pixel peeping. So if I back up a little bit, you can still see it right there, okay? Right here. You can see it, okay? Let me back up one more. One more. You still see a little bit, of, but it's not too much. And you can put it in pose, take it out. I don't like doing that. I like showing everything off. I will have uh, distortion on and uh, a couple other things, but basically, I love this tree, okay? And there it is. You go in portrait mode. And it's. Um, I don't know how much. Or. Um, anyway, so you can see where there's little limbs or vines growing on it. And I think that's part of the tree. I don't think that's a vine. But, you know, you look at these trees and you figure out what happened here. Why isn't it branching out like these? And it might be a vine, you know, growing on it. So I don't know. That, that's what fascinates with me. Uh, these pictures like this is a dead one and there's a cactus there's some more cactuses over here and i think some over here on top of the hill but you'll see branches being float and i show this branch but this is on the other side but you can see how bright it is so it's dark it's perfect right here but then on some scenes where I'm in, you know, the open, it's just too bright. And this is with the ZF, okay? So there's on top of the hill, the cactus. Another part. And then I'm in the woods, you know, on the path. And it's a little bit darker. The exposure looks just right. So I probably set the exposure in there and then when I went up on you know I kept going up and down the hill uh, by the sidewalk the lighting changed so I don't think it was on auto ISO see that's a great shot too and I showed you this So you see, one shot is dark. And I think if you move the lens down a little bit, it gets dark. If you move it up a little bit, see the exposure is wrong. If I were to move it down, and you see it's a little blurry, now it's in focus. Okay? So what I think what happens is it gives you the first kind of like what you would get in a JPEG. And then I'll change it. But this is all in HLG, okay? 
And now I move to the front yard. So you see with HLG, look at the background. You can't even see the, the cranes. That's why I don't like it too much. I'd rather have it in SDR. But someone wanted an HLG, so I did it in the Z63, which was a little bit too dark. And then uh, the ZF. And I did use the ZF first, but I have not looked at the pictures. Okay. I went until I did everything with the camera, and then I brought it into post. So the bird just took off. Uh, I did a picture just before he was sticking his head, and then he took off. I mean, got that one right there. Let me increase it, and then I'll have to go down. Come on. See, look at that. He just took off. Isn't that a nice picture? Yeah, it's a little pixelated, but still. Look at that. And I can hear uh, those guys yelling. Yeah, if you had a 45 megapixel camera, that would be sharp. Well, yeah, you see, just by moving the camera up or down, bright, dark. Yeah, I'm trying to find it, that bird. Okay, let's see. Can I get him there? So I was coming. I got the bird. I got the bird. Well, I'm searching. I haven't seen any pictures yet. Okay, that's it. So when are we going to end it on? I don't see the bird. You see, I see him through the uh, viewfinder, and then I can't find him in a picture. That's right. Oh, by the way, this is the 40 millimeter only. I didn't put the 28 to 400 on here, and that might have been it also. The 28 to 400 uh, HLG is F4 to F8, whereas this one is at F2. That could be the reason why it's so bright. Yeah. I'm going to do just a little bit. Right there. Go down. Maybe one more. Maybe one more. Okay, that, that's a good shot, right? That's a perfect ending. So, I will say uh, my goodbye is right here. I got some more video after this. I'm trying to find my mouse cursor. But uh, here's a, a video to finish it. Thank you for watching. Remember, stay safe. Keep smiling. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye, folks. Have a wonderful day. Okay, my favorite uh, bird. I think this is the male. He's kind of quiet. You know what, folks? I think I'll end it right here. Okay? I'll show you the rest of the videos on the next, you know, on part two.